If you have been to Haiti, by now you should be familiar with Soswa. We have many different Soswa, but this one is the Soswa Noir, aka Black Beans. So like I said before, if you've been to Haiti, you've had some form of Soswa. It's a staple in our diet. And this Soswa right here is actually my wife's favorite. But nonetheless, me, I like all of them. You know, bring me Soswa Noir, Soswa Wuz, Soswa Vet. And yes, we are gonna bring you the recipe for all these Soswas because it's so damn good. So what's good about the Soswa? Well, it's the fact that you're getting all your nutrients from it and it's damn good. Yes, I said it. it is good. We are preparing ours in the Instant Pot. Why? Because it takes a very long time to boil the beans. And obviously, we're not gonna spend two hours waiting for the beans to be boiled. Within 30 to 40 minutes, your beans should be ready. And then, ready to move on to the next process. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more authentic recipes. Go to savorythoughts.com. And we also have a website where we do actually sell spices, premium Haitian spices at savory-studio.com. So check out those sites. Your sauce should be smooth. It should be silky. Like a fine silk. Yes, that's how it should be when you're eating it. Me personally, I like to drench my rice with it. Where you just kind of like slurp it. Yes, just thinking about it right now makes me want to have some. The measurement and the ingredients are listed in the description below. But if you want step-by-step -step instructions with pictures, go onto our website onto savorythoughts.com and you will find step-by-step -step instruction as well as little tips and tricks on how to save it and keep it nice and fresh for the next day. If you are wondering about the yellow pepper, you can also add green pepper if that's what you have. So it doesn't necessarily have to be yellow. It could be red, whichever of those peppers you have in your refrigerator. But what you want from the pepper is the actual flavor. It extracts it and put it in the sauce Once all your ingredients are in the pot, make sure you stir it well before you cover it so we can go. Cover, let everything cook together until all the flavors combine. And now that it's done cooking, here is your silky goodness. Now we also have a white rice recipe on our website. So go check it out so you can enjoy your sauce pot. Now go make this recipe, take some pictures so you can share it with us. And don't forget to give us a like. 